This is a very simple Newton's second law problem. Quite simple, but I'm going to do this one, and then what I'm going to do is add a little twist to it. So there's really two parts to this video. Okay, so here's an object, 20 kilograms, being pulled by 27 newtons, and there's a force of friction on it. And the question is, what is the force of friction if the acceleration is 0 0.8 meters per second squared? Okay, so I have a Newton's second law problem. I'm going to use Newton's second law, which is F net equals ma. I know I'm using that because I need to get these forces into a formula. Okay, so I said to the right is positive because I have to choose some direction as positive, and since it's accelerating to the right, I chose to the right as positive. So now, what does F net mean? F net means add up all the forces that you see on the diagram in the direction of the acceleration or in that plane. And so I got 27 forward minus force of friction equals m, I know what m is, and I know what a is, 0 0.8. Now it's important to note, this is not a vector formula, I've made it a, uh, a, a linear formula, because I've already said it's minus force of friction, I've already said the friction is backwards. So now I'm just solving for the magnitude of the friction. So we got here, force of friction, I'm going to rearrange, 27 minus force of friction equals uh, 16, so as I said, I'm going to rearrange. 27 minus 16 equals the force of friction. Um, I brought the 16 over here, which became negative. I took the force of friction, brought it to the other side, it became positive. So now I know the force of friction is 27 minus 16. The force of friction is 11 newtons. But which way is that 11 newtons? Because we have to give a direction. It didn't come out negative to tell us to the left. It came out positive, which what is what I expected because I already said it was to the left, and it's a linear equation. So we have to say the force of friction is to the left. I just did almost the identical problem. I'm just going to throw in a little twist to show how you can mix up Newton's second law. Okay, same car, 20 kilogram car being pulled by 27 Newtons. What's the force of friction? But this time, instead of telling you the acceleration, I give you some other information. This is really important to know that with the F net equals MA formula, the variable, the acceleration, is in your big five, all the five formulas for acceleration. So frequently what we do is we say, well, instead of just giving them the acceleration and making it too easy, I'll say, okay, I want to know something about the forces, but I'm not going to tell you the acceleration. But I'm going to tell you, you know, the initial velocity or the distance or something like that, and then you have to solve for the acceleration. So you see what I mean? Here's the formula we're going to use, F net equals MA. Same as before, because we're looking for a force. What are the forces on it? 27 minus force of friction, because the 27 is forward, the friction is backwards, and that equals ma, which we know 20, and we're looking for friction, but we don't have the acceleration. Okay, well, how do I get the acceleration? I gotta say, okay, I have some other variables. V1 is zero meters per second, because it says from rest, it says to a velocity of 24 meters per second, which is pretty fast, in 30 seconds. So from my kinematics information, I'm going to solve for the acceleration, then I can use my Newton's second law. So I'm going to use A equals V2 minus V1 over T, in this case. So A equals V2, 24 minus 0 over 30, the acceleration is 0 0.8 meters per second squared, and it's to the right because it's positive. Okay, so then I can plug that back in here and say 27 minus force of friction equals 20 times 0 0.8. And just like I did in the others, I made the acceleration the same, so the numbers will work the same. 27 minus force of friction equals 16. 27 minus 16 equals force of friction. I just rearranged that. The 16 comes on this side, becomes negative. The force of friction goes on that side, becomes positive. So the force of friction is 27 minus 16 is 11 newtons, and it's positive. So it's, uh, sorry, it comes out to negative. No, I already, sorry. 27 minus 16 is 11, and from the diagram I can see it's to the left. It didn't come out negative because I already said it was backwards. 